Well, if you're anything like me, the movie theater is calling your name. Well, luckily, the Denver Film Festival is back and in person to showcase a robust lineup of 233 features, short films, music videos, and so much more. Well, Denver Film's Chief Executive Officer James Mejia joined me in the Nine News backyard for an exclusive peek at this year's lineup. Well, film is one of those creative hubs where new talent always come into play. And James Mejia is with us today. James, how are you? I'm doing very well. Wonderful to be in the Nine News backyard. Well, it's wonderful to have you. Well, Denver, and a lot of people may not know this, is uh, home to the largest regional film festival in the Rocky Mountains. Tell me about it. Well, we're very happy to be back uh, after a, a year of virtual screening last year for the film festival. Mm -hmm. We'll be welcoming people back to the C Film Center, a newly renovated C Film Center for in-person screenings of 233 films, 140 of which will be feature length films. Wow, this is very exciting for a lot of people who missed it last year. It was virtual, but it is back, everyone. Okay, talk to me about the festivities surrounding the film festival. Yeah, well, we have um, several new partners this year, including the AMC 9 Theater on 9th in Colorado. Okay. Uh, the Botanic Gardens has constructed a new theater, so we're very glad to be partnering with them this year. Uh, our five special presentations will be at the Ellie Calkins Opera House as part of the Denver uh, Performing Arts Center, and of course, our home for independent film in this region of the country, the C Film Center, uh, which has three theaters across the street from East High School on Colfax. All so. spectacular venues, yeah. and as with every amazing film festival, there are red carpet events. You guys have five happening. Oh my gosh, details please. That's right, well, uh, the, the most interesting thing about the five red carpets is that in four of the five, those four are being mentioned for best actor nominations for the Oscars. Wow, and so that's huge. We're, we're, we will be one of the last film festivals to feature screenings before you hear a lot of talk about these actors uh, being elevated to, to Oscar nominations. Yes, and look, filmography is a talent that is very present here in Colorado. Out of the 233 films, how many are from Colorado filmmakers? Oh, we, we've got a wonderful selection, not only of feature films, but also a short series uh, from, from Colorado. Um, and, and student series from Colorado. So, so in every category, you're, you are going to see a, a burgeoning talent uh, from, from Colorado, one that we want to continue to support and continue to keep at home in this film industry that's growing here, here in our state. Absolutely. Well, look, opening night is going to feature a very exciting film. It's called Spencer. What is this one going to be about? This, this is such a great way to open the film festival. Spencer is the maiden name of Lady Diana. Uh, okay. So, so the princess uh -huh. and, and um, Lady Diana is over the course of three days deciding to leave Prince Charles and the royal family, and so during the holiday season, everything from the costuming and backdrop oh. provides such a spectacular view of what that was like and the decision-making process that Lady Diana had to go through. Kristen Stewart turns in an amazing performance and it's no wonder they're talking about her for an Oscar already. They already are and I've been hearing that for weeks now and I'm excited to see that one and talk about so many people being able to connect with that film. All right, let's take a look at the trailer of Spencer. Is she here yet? Not yet, ma'am, no. Then she's late. She is late. Your Royal Highness. Mommy. <laughs> family are all gathered in the drawing room. They are waiting. Three days. That's it. They're getting quite serious about you. So stand very still and smile a lot. They know everything. They don't. Mommy, what happened to make you so sad? Well, here, in this house, there is no future. Past and the present are the same thing. Diana, they can't change. You have to change. You have to be able to 
to do things you hate. You hate? There has to be two of you. It's the real one <laughs> and the one they take pictures of. Diana, for the good of the country. It's the country. You know, I really like things that are simple, ordinary. Will they kill me, do you think? That looks amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, James, people wanting to learn more about the Denver Film Festival, how do they do so? Well, the, uh, the full schedule is on denverfilm.org, and tickets will go on sale to the general public on October the 8th. So we look forward to seeing everyone at the C Film Center and uh, Ellie Calkins Opera House. It sounds wonderful. Thank you, James, for being with us today. Thank you. Yes, the Denver Film Festival is back with 233 features and short films. It's set to take place November 3rd through the 14th with a full slate of in-person screenings, red carpets, special presentations, as well as a robust offering of virtual screenings. General admission tickets for this year's festival, you can go on, they go on sale at 10 a.m. October 8th, and you can go to denverfilm.org for more.